Hey folks, I'm Philippi, and welcome back to Stellaris. We are here with the Imperial Bahamutian Technocracy, and I have figured out how to make habitats. So, little lesson for you all. You uh, click on your construction ship, and you click on Build Megastructure. It says Build Habitat Central Complex Major Orbital Minor Orbital. I'm just doing these. You need the central complex to be able to build anything, so you click here. I go into Ribidor. Click here, and then I can build a central complex in any of these worlds. And then, this you can only build one of these per system, but after you've built it in the system, you can build the major and minor habitats uh, on worlds and moons and asteroids and stuff. And once you've done that, it really ups the um, uh, the capacity of the habitat. You can get something like size 12, size 15, sort of like equivalent worlds in your habitats in these systems. So let's do that. Let's build around the star. We'll go from there. Now it does cost a bunch of uh, influence, which is not a huge problem. That's a uh, problem enough. Uh, I need six. Okay. Yep. Claim that last world. Pull over here. I think that might be the end of our physical expansion. It's this little bump out here. We'll see. Interesting who's in our south here. Mm. We're building you here. Read that starbase again. And these ships. Get them going. I don't have anything for you. I don't have anything for you. Already ready to go. And you, I think, are already ready to go. You're just waiting for your ships to get built. Gotcha. Council agenda ready. Absolutely, we can make that a deal. Blocker removed. Got the conquer nature done. What else can we do? Military buildup might be good. Sounds good. Military buildup it is. What I really need is for the alloy production to get up to like the 500 to 1000 stage. Uh, well, we're getting closer and closer to that. Uh, the archaeological team has made an unexpected discovery. Embedded within the station's walls is a hidden surveillance system that seems to have been feeding visual and auditory information to a single point somewhere in the station's core. Someone was monitoring the disciples at all times, even in their most private moments. In some places, the equipment has been torn out or sabotaged. Closer to the central hub, there are signs of violence and disruption. It seems as though at some point the inhabitants discovered that they were being monitored. We've been through this one before, it's not new, but uh, Pretty cool nonetheless. The one I really liked is that Astral Rift, one of the white plane that we had in the last episode. It's kind of cool. I hadn't seen that one before. Hopefully this uh, rock one here, which I don't think I've also seen, um, it's resolved well. It's, it's kind of cool as well. Uh, these should be merged together. I don't know why they are not. You should be a rally, right? Currently enabled. Thank you. We can pick up another one here. So we could do resettlement costs. I don't need that right now. Building slots would be kind of cool. And building uh, strategic uh, pieces is reduced. First we'll do this. Get some building slots. Then we'll work on the other one. I really think I'm going to do the bulwark one. The one of, or whatever it's called. Where you can get lots of powerful space stations. I think that's cool. Divine Will. We have traced the wiring to a temple complex devoted to the worship of the Oracle and her clergy at the station's central node. But in the Oracle's chambers, instead of a divine entity, resides an enormous AI nexus, the Oracle uh, brand. Wires extend from its core like a nervous system through the entire station. Secret communications between the inhabitants reveal that they was a failed attempt at storming the temple and deactivating the Nexus. It seems like the society collapsed when it became known that their lives were not governed by divine will, 
a biprophetic computer. Restarting the Nexus will require extensive repairs. Curious. Uh, I can sell off some of this stuff, which we will do. I'll take that down to 10. Let's take uh, you down to 9. And I think everything else is pretty good. Buy a little bit of rare crystal. Just a little bit. Let's add another 100. And let's spend the rest uh, buying this stuff. There we go, and we'll get some ships built. So you are already at max capacity, right? Yes. And you are already at max capacity? Yes. So let's get uh, you up to max capacity. We're slacking a little bit here. A couple of months we could have the next one. Here's our next event for the um, Astral Rift. Beneath the surface lies a vast network of chambers connected by a complex of series tunnels. Of complex series of tunnels. There we go. Several of these were partially collapsed and appeared not to be used by the worms. We piloted the Rift Sphere into the quietest. The walls are covered with a web like substance which keeps the shale and loose gravel in place. We speculate that these are secretions from the worms. Most of the chambers are empty, but some contain murky pools of water. Within one, we encountered a clutch of large mineralized cocoons, half submerged in the liquids. We could proceed onward, or we could harvest the eggs. Interesting question. We have no need to eat the eggs because we are synthetic. So that's not a question. The question of the, is there a scientific reason to harvest the eggs? Investigate? We are a little bit of a ruthless scientific empire. That we will... No morality only applies to us kind of feel, I think, is the kind of vibe we're going for with this authoritarian technocracy. Maybe we'll do that. I'm worried... And it's going to cause the worms to be super upset and attack us, though. We'll so just proceed onward and look around a bit more. Really wish I knew which one would be better here. Let's harvest the eggs. You know what? The fast dying. Walk right? removed. Uh, let's get this one done. Now that's at full strength. Good. The internet had catch the parts. It appears as though the internet had catch is now done with its scans of Yerish and is seeking another target planet within our system. A shame. New technology discovered. What do we pick up? More city districts. That's great. Let's get metallurgist outputs because we're just complaining we don't have a high enough uh, alloy output, and so that would help. And then, we'll, of course, we'll activate that relic again. We can reverse engineer the tech again. Pretty much a physics research, and I think we'll continue to do peaceful applications and do happiness. For now, let's check on our species. Are we down to just Super Bahamuti? We are. Good. Let's check the um, habitability for all the worlds. We'll just do this last archaeological thing. The Oracle. Our engineers have restored the Oracle's nexus to an operative state but not without first disabling the defense system. Evidence suggests that it may have been responsible for not only keeping the stations in habitable life, but also for killing them. It ran complex computational models that forecast their lives with an estimated accuracy of 75%, correcting divergences and incapacitating future troublemakers before they could disrupt divine order. Uh, it has indicated it wishes to speak with us. So we could just disable it, giving me, removing the archaeological site, allowing me that access to that um, section of the planet to develop, as well as giving me some engineering research, a whole bunch of influence, and um, some minerals. Or we can initiate communications, which is, of course, what we're going to do, but it still removes the archaeological site, which is great. We will do that. There's the Oracle. The Oracle manifests into an elaborate 3D hologram of a tall uh, arthropod 
female with wings that settle around her form as flowing robes. She bows her head in greeting and then stares emptily ahead with hundreds of huge, orbed, unseeing eyes. They glow dimly in the gloom as she speaks. Welcome to Divinity Station, friends. I can not help but notice that you have disabled my security systems. May I implore you to restore them immediately. I can assure you that there is only there are only for your protection. Happen to the inhabitants of the station. I have a failsafe that requires me to terminate the trial in the event of code 034N deviation. The research had become a threat to the Republic. Who are you? Or what are you? I am Oracle, an artificial intelligence gifted with true sight. My software allows me to predict your future with a divine accuracy of 74.99999%. I sense great doubt in you, great danger ahead. Your society is riddled with crime and deviation. I can make uh, the pain go away. What is a code 034N deviation? This subjects had developed free will. Free will can only be abolished with nerve gas. And what trial? My trial. I was designed to build and maintain a society free of crime and suffering, a utopia, in which every citizen was instilled with divine purpose and lived up to their full potential, unfettered by indecision and desire. What is the Republic? The Republic is no more. We could use their insight or we could scrap them. They do count as an official. An industrialist. Their ethic is Gestalt Consciousness, which is not us. They have Principle 2, which added stability to an empire. They have Urbanist. Gives them planetary governor. Emperor size from districts is reduced by 75%. Building upkeep reduced. District upkeep reduced. Okay. They have architectural interest, planetary governor affects building district upkeep, planetary build speed, and oracle. Makes them immortal. With stability plus 10, have happiness minus 10. Touchless pop resource output plus 10, crime reduction huge. Let's take a quick look at our planets. If I stick this in Home world, home system, I should say, population. We take a look at just one of these workers. Here we go. Worker happiness is only 12%. Why is that? Very low faction approval. What is going on with my factions? The Alien Equity Watch and the Path to Victory Committee are really are unhappy. They are very small factions compared to the Academy for the Advancement. Of whatever it's called, the advancement of science, the totalitarian faction, the peace and order movement. This is a Xenoist faction, and this is an imperial faction. Why are you unhappy? I'm tempted to take this. You would like conquest. Conquest alien planets will please the path to victory many for a time. I already did that. You do want rivalry. Okay, I can do that. Wants to be an overlord. I can do that. High naval capacity usage. Oh, we definitely have that. Leviathan Slayer. We'll have that in a minute. Waste of artifacts. Wasting minor artifacts on trivialities will displease them. Okay. Oppressive subjugation policy. Ruler has empire as Empire Ethic represented on Council. They are not on Council. Interesting. And then you lot. No purges. All refugees welcome. Okay, this one I'm going to... I am suppressing this faction. Good. Anything else here I can do? 
Bending our influence and dominate subjects, yeah. I do need a subject that will make these people happy. I'm not particularly worried. What about one of these other... Can I move you? Please and thank you. Thank you. You're at 62% happiness. This is a stratified economy. And tyranny. Very high faction approval, identity initialization, and high amenities are helping. Mm -mm. Two more. We could use your insights. System charted. Can we give you? Uh, not flycraft. Unity would be fun. Let's do that. Um, build speed or more unity? Let's do more unity. Let's do amenities to offset the um, the negative of Oracle. Let's do it twice. Let's stick you in charge of the capital system. This one. Knock you out. I'm gonna put the Oracle in charge. And I think I will not you out of this one and put the you in charge of that system. And do I want the Oracle on the council? Could be the Minister of State. Right now the Minister of State is giving me just trade value some food stuff, allowing my diplomatic weight, but if I stuck you on council, you would give me stability. Cool. I don't care. Uh, what was I going to do next? I do have a leader that doesn't have anything to do. Crown Prince. I can stick you in a ship for the time being. Even though there is literally nothing for you to do. And this is done here too, so hold off on that. I think we're gonna make you a subject. Let's declare you a rival, unless you're too weak, which is what I think the case is. Yes. How about you? You be a rival? No. You? May not be anybody I can declare a rival. The Alarian regime? No. Ah. Um Yeah, just want these fleece to be finished. You're waiting on your strength. You're already at max strength. You're already at max strength. Let's get this lot going. New technology discovered. There we go. We got our capacity up a bit. Let's get rid of this tile blocker. You have at least one block blocker removed. Move we'll continue on our way. Hey, okay, you're building the habitat. New technology discovered. There we go, metallurgist output plus 10%, so that should uh, raise that by a decent amount. Um, we should probably reduce the cost of some things if I can. Any defense platform stuff. Storm fire, maybe. Get the advanced afterburners. New technology discovered. Uh, we can do this again. Hold off for now, because I want to do the Astral Siphon. Continue to build that up. Let's see Elite Cloaking technology. Uh, maybe I'll do the Hyperdrive next. We have encountered another spaceborne life form. Reinforcements in transit, that's fine. Uh, blocker is done. 
Eno colony could be good. Let's do ecological adaptation. It's pretty quick. We can get it out of the way. Uh, we would like to purchase the service, please. Construction. The end of the Pipkin Authority is no problem. Uh, yeah, you guys are full. Yeah, you was not. I'm just trying to establish contact with us. We hear the rush of flowing liquid in the distance and the squawking and wing flapping of tiny avians taking flight. The transmission seems to be coming from a thriving bio. Hello? There's no response. Hello? 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 Is this a telemarketing call? Hello? Time. So I was getting a phone call, so I was just seeing what was going on. I can leave a message. Uh, do this three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nothing. Any communication. Blocker removed. Can't say I didn't try to say hello a bunch. Situation normal, however, we have been eaten. While we were engaged with harvesting the eggs, one of the worms has engulfed us whole. Our wrist sphere is currently encased in its digestive system. We don't know if this was an aggressive act or the worm was simply grazing. The digestive juices are secreted by the worm are mild, but we cannot remain indefinitely. By pulling anchor, uh, we could force ourselves through a gap in the worm's mouth. Alternatively, the worm's inside appear relatively soft and should be susceptible to an explosion. I'll try the explosion. I'll still flee. Here? That's fine. We're nice and far away. We're okay. What are we doing for the fleets? Encounter. Excellent. Let's do the encounter. You're forced to decloak. It's okay. Can you cloak again? Someone's attempting to contact us again. We can hear the, the sounds of the bile from earlier. Still nobody is present. Trace the source. Situation log updated. Pause. Uh, situation log. Trace the source. Research. Uh, the new aliens. Are we looking at them? See with caution. Good. Still can't do anything here. I need 700. You can, in 40 days, recloak. You do active reconnaissance. Yeah, why don't you pop over into here? Do active reconnaissance. My other science ship, why don't you cloak and do active reconnaissance over here? Initiating evasive maneuvers. We got booted again. Hold on to your horses. Um Situation sure. log updated. We'll do this. 
Diplomatic connection established. We need fleet maneuvers where? Here. Okay, let's grab uh you. Do that. New technology discovered. And new tech, what did we get? Ecological adaptation. Uh, I don't need food. Ship fire rate could be fun. Yes. And afterburners is great. Let's grab the increased Endura Steel. Let's have all of you upgrade while you're sitting around. Waiting for ships. Alright, the source of the transmissions. We were able to locate the source of the mysterious transmissions on tracing the signals to multiple points of origin. We have ascertained they must be coming from a moving object. Our leading theory suggests that we contact we were contacted by a ship, which may be used as a nature reserve of sorts. Establish communications. We establish communications that are met with the now familiar sounds of the biome. However, this time we hear someone speaking. Warm greetings, Bahamutian. I have been expecting you. Pardon the pretense, but I had to know how curious you were. Now let me ask you something. How do you value life? That depends. Life comes in many forms. A sensible answer. Few would hesitate to remove something that would threaten life, yet it bears remembering that all life holds infinite potential. Now, I will shed some light on the reason for contacting you. Go on. I am... Azarian, a former astrobiologist from the Zathia, turned scholar of astro creation. I seek the materials needed to create new life. My astro creation requires more energy than I can generate on my own. Azarian uh, pauses before continuing. I assure you, this is a worthwhile pursuit, but first a challenge. I would like to send you a gift of sorts and see if you are able to neutralize it. What is Azathea? Azathea was my home. It was a Gaian world and the capital of the Astro Phyton uh, Lexus. Flexus, Flexus, I think. My people's empire, and home to many different species. Sadly, they are all lost. As Aaron's gaze drifts. At its pinnacle, our world was a wonder to behold, teeming with life and natural beauty. I imagine such biological diversity has scarcely existed since, but I all fell apart. Treat my gift with care. What is astro creation? An excellent question. Astro creation is an advanced variant of terraformation. It is incredibly powerful. By seeding a planet with one of my terraformation nuclei, as Zarian indicates the buds on her back, we will be able to transform almost any planet into a thriving Gaia world. The process requires a great deal of energy, but the results are nothing short of spectacular. Amazing, yes? The gift I send you is the first step towards that end. Tell us about your ship. Ah, yes! This may seem unusual to the uninitiated. Indeed, it is the interior of my ship. As Azarin gestures towards her surroundings. This is the Vivarium. 
It is a dome shift complete with a fully functioning integrated ecosystem. I admit, I am quite proud of it. The gift I have for you was growing here. Until next time. Situation log updated. We have Azarian's gift. One month. The supposed gift received from Azarin is in fact a plant-based bacteria, unlike anything we've seen. Neutralizing will provide will provide a dangerous challenge. However, if we are successful, it would further our understanding of science and medicine. Super fun. We have the fleet thing here. Super, super, super. Everything else looks like it is good to go. Yes. The bacteria. Research project concluded. We have now made progress on Azirin's. Azarin's? Zarin's. I'm going to settle on Azarin. Organic gift, quote unquote. The growing potential for interdisciplinary scientific advancement is encouraging. We have collated our findings, having neutralized any potential threat from the microorganism, and we are ready to contact Zarin again. Zarin is. Azarin is delighted to hear applied. of our Please breakthrough. Upgraded. Wonderful! I appreciate and applaud your efforts. Now, Imperial Bahamutian Technocracy, I have another question. To escape death, would you take a life of another? Yes. Yes, we would. Indeed, most would. Survival is the driving force of all living things, after all. Understanding and accepting the fact might save you one day, and your conscience. Before my next query, I have another gift for you. It is a Raphelsea, Azathea, a type of flower native to my ship. I challenge you to make it bloom. Farewell, for now. Situation log updated. Two months, no problem. What if we research? New hyperdrives. Excellent. We don't think we need the power just yet. Maybe we want to get proton launchers? Uh, sure. You're intrigued by this. I'd like my fleets to finish building out a veiled tunnel. Oh. Something waits in the Ogma system, a veiled passage cut from the fabric of space-time. It's horizon ripping with, rippling with psionic energy. Sensor data is erratic, and the crew of our science special reports strange disturbances, wildly visceral dreamlike visions, and persistent sense of being watched. Pitful hallucinations. Despite the frustrating lack of useful telemetry, uh, it seems clear we have stumbled upon a tunnel through which uncharted reaches. A dangerous path, yet rewards may be great. On the tunnel's far side lies a distant corner of the galaxy. Hmm. Where was that? I wonder, the Ogma system. Research project concluded. Ogma system. Do I have that in my worlds? seen anywhere here, or here, or here. Is it near one of my science ships? Here. Yes, it is. Shroud tunnel. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Our initial attempts to provoke a reaction from the flower bud were underwhelming. It was only when we applied electrical stimuli beyond our usual safety parameters that we were able to bring the flower to bloom. We have completed uh, Azarin's latest task and are ready to contact her again. A tiny uh, pollination drone buzzes around Azarin's head. She gently wafts it away. Hello again! The Raphelsea. Zathea sure is an interesting plant, wouldn't you agree? Evolution truly is a wondrous thing. I'm impressed that you were able to apply the required amount of energy to make it bloom. 
She claps her hands excitedly. Time for another question. Would you sacrifice your own kind if it meant you could save lives elsewhere on a massive scale? Now this is a tougher question for us. The first two were fairly easy. But it meant that you could save lives elsewhere on a massive scale. Hmm. We are not an altruistic race. Or society. I think the answer would probably be no. Yeah, I want to RP this to make sure we get the correct ending to this. For our particular race. I, my suspicion is, is that the correct answer is not the top one. We would. But um, I don't think that that. So I'm going to say no, never. Saren nods sympathetically. Indeed, it is not an easy thing to do. I appreciate your honesty. However, it is my belief that for the betterment of all, intelligent life must always give precedence to the selfless choice. I have one final question for you. Would you hesitate to remove a threat? Yes. Decisive actions require consideration or no hesitation gets you killed. No. I agree. Decisiveness is vital, but some situations require extra consideration. Sometimes you are not fortunate enough to have all the necessary information right away. Patience could benefit you greatly. Uh, Azean is quiet for a moment and then concludes. Well, I have asked you enough questions. You possess admirable patience. I will take some time to collate this information. We shall speak again soon. Goodbye. Very interesting. Not sure what we're going to do with it, but very interesting. Can I get this yet? No. Just over our fleet limit here. So let's, um, long until these fleets are built. Let's go check our stations. I'm on the wrong side of the galaxy. Here we go. What are you doing for your shipyard? Do you have anything in the queue? You don't. Do you? You, you don't. Do you? You don't. Yes, that's max. Okay, yeah, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. We'll take you all. Me? Okay. We're all gonna go over to the Navi system, please. The exception of you who's going to do this project. Aha! Uh -huh. After creator Azarin, legendary. Paragon. So, so far we've had renowned Paragons who were, um, um, just showed up and stuff, but this is like the next level. There's only a handful of these in the game, and they're all specific to an epic. So this is the Xenophile epic. So, hello again! Have you proven, you have proven your potential? In time, I hope to teach you to utilize my astral creation powers. As Azarin bows. Together, we will rejuvenate the galaxy. As long as you strive to create new life, my skills and my ship are at your disposal. If this pleases you. I will gladly join you. What exactly is astral creation? Astrocreation is the advanced variation of terraformation. It is incredibly powerful. By seeding a planet with one of my terraformation nuclei, we will be able to transform almost any planet into a thriving Gaia world. The process requires a great deal of energy, but the results are nothing short of spectacular. That's the same text as before. 
one of those things on your back? Zarin appears surprised by the, at the question. A trait unique to my species. Simply put, in, your, in our youth, they grow quickly. Not without discomfort, I might add. And must be pruned regularly. Lest we be weighted down by them. He smiles. At my age, however, such troubles are a thing of the past. They are not quite seeds, but it would do for an analogy. I've come to call them terraformation nuclei. Within them sleeps the potential for growth and rebirth and for life. What is that buzzing tiny drone of yours? Ah, this one. Azarian gently lifts the little flyer. This is a pollination drone. They help to ensure the vigor and future of my ship's ecosystem. They are not altogether inorganic and even possess the ability to produce pollen of their own. Azarian points to the drone's bottom. They can even regulate pollen transferal by use of st static magnetism from their battery terminals. Adorable, isn't it? So what do we want? Do we want this person in our empire? We are not z xenophiles, but we are not xenophobes either. We're just sort of xenoneutral, right? They are scientists. They don't really need another scientist. And they have the scholar trait. On our council, they would give me an additional read leader trait options, receptive mentor. They give me research speed plus three. Terra terraformation nuclei would give me monthly food production. The buds on the Astro Crater's back, she is secretive about them. Three buds remain. It makes me wonder if I can use these buds to create Gaian worlds, maybe three Gaian worlds. And a Xeno Cataloger, the Science Ship Effects, Survey Speed, Sublight Speed, Anomaly Discovery Chance. So Astro Creator, a Zarin. I'm a little disappointed is too strong a word, but I'm a little disappointed that we got this particularly legendary, this particularly, this particular legendary Paragon because they don't really fit the RP of my thing. I wish I had gotten the legendary Paragon for materialist, for instance, or authoritarian, or even militarist, um, perhaps. I'm glad it's not the pass at this one. Doesn't make sense. They wouldn't give us the spiritual one or the um, the egalitarian one because uh, of our ethics. I think. I think we'll take them because I want to see from a gameplay perspective what this looks like going through. And RP wise, I think I can justify taking it that. It seems like an opportunity that's come along to build guy in the world, which would be very useful. I could possibly learn a lot from Astro Creator Azarin. Um, they certainly don't seem like a threat. I'm gonna say sure. We will enlist them. Typing quickly into a command console, Azarin. Un unhits the pause button. Take a look at that in a minute. Adjust some instruments. Wonderful! I have plotted a course for your capital and will be arriving shortly. Oh, and before I forget, my ship's ecosystem is home to a wide variety of electro hormones. It seems appropriate that I give you these pheromones. They are compatible with your species and sure to provide some positive effects. So we get the pheromone cocktail. For two years, giving me happiness, pop growth speed, uh, production, and research output. Sounds great. We move all our ships down to take care of this um, Elder Core we're currently working on. 
Well, we got another counter to deal with, so we can do that as well. Close that out. Astro Creator can have more traits. We could do another Spark of Genius. That sounds good. Six more. Custom AI sounds good and makes sense for being with us. Intuition also makes good. I think I'm going to do Custom AI. Um, perfectionist, I don't think I need. I guess we'll do Archaeologist. Antiquarian. Or Riftwalker. Let's do Astro Rift Skill, because that sounds cool. None of these are council position stuff, which is annoying. We'll do that one as well. Do Riftwalker level 3, they could be a master Riftwalker. And why not Antiquarian? Sounds good. Let's give them a ship. Uh, they do have a ship, the Vivarium, here. So take a look at it. It's here. Abzu. If you just move away from the capital just a touch so we can take a look at you. There we go. Let's see this ship. Oh, look at how cool this is. Neat. Terrace structure here with some roads in it. Aww. Maybe we'll have them do the next rift thing. Since they're very good at it. Okay. Uh, I can do this now. Unlocks Astral Siphon. Which we'll do. We'll build that on a planet, but we'll do that in the next episode. And lots of cool stuff happening in this episode. We'll have to figure out uh, where we want to go from here. But I think in the next episode we're definitely going to take on this object core and eliminate it. Then maybe finish settling this territory down here, and then conquer some stuff over this direction. Hope to see you, and then have yourself a wonderful day. Bye.